All right, guys, so for this week's project, it's pretty much like a part two from last week. Last week, you were to take one of the news desks that I had out on the shared drive and cut out the background using whatever version of Pixlr you wanted to use. Now, the thing that a lot of you found is if you were using Pixlr X, it was really hard to cut out the backgrounds and make them really crisp and really clear. So, what I'm going to show you guys how to do through this video is how to use Pixlr E to make a much more professional and much more clean cut. So, here we go. First of all, go into Pixlr, and it tells you here that Pixlr E is more advanced, whereas Pixlr X is a lot more playful. Advanced is great because it's a lot more professional, a lot more like Photoshop. So, I'm going to open that up. And I'm gonna open this image from Shared Drive, which I'm already there. I'm gonna take this news desk. All right. Now, first thing I wanna show you guys is if you go up to View and make it light screen, which you can see I'm already in light screen, I actually suggest you doing light screen because in dark screen, a lot of your dark pixels are going to blend in with your transparent background, okay? And I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to pull up this PNG right here, which was edited in what I assume was Pixlr X. There's a lot of stray pixels. Those stray pixels probably were not seen on the dark background. Let's give it a try. I'm going to go into here, file open. That's in my downloads. Here it is. All right, you can see it in the light background. If you go into dark, look at that. Major difference. So I highly, highly suggest, guys, that when you're in Pixlr E, you go into view and you change it back to light. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do a couple selection tools. First of all, I can't do any editing until I unlock this image. So I'm gonna double click on the lock and now I can go in and use some selection tools. So here's the lasso select, which is what a lot of you tried in Pixlr X. In Pixlr X, it doesn't give you any other lasso options except freehand. And freehand is really bad if you have shaky hands like me, especially if you're using a trackpad. But notice here in Pixlr E, there are different types of lasso tools. My favorite is the Bezier. Let me show you how cool the Bezier is. If you just click, 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 it does straight lines until you click. And I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to end my selection where I started it. Click. Now I have my little dancing ants, I call it. Now I can hit delete on my keyboard and I can go up to select and deselect and I have a bit more of a crisp edge, okay? Now the thing is this picture was probably already hacked up a little bit too much. So in this case, it might be better to just start from scratch and go back to the original image, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do now. So I'm going to go into file open and I'm going to go into my shared drives. There's the image. All right. So again, it's best to be in light screen because dark screen, wow, you know, you might like the dark screens, but it's just not as good whenever you're editing out pixels. So before we start working, we have to unlock the background by double clicking it. Now the lock symbol is gone. I'm going to jump in and use my marquee selection and just delete all this wasted space on my background above my news desk that I don't need. So there's my dancing ants, my little rectangle. I hit delete on the keyboard, gone. And I can do the same thing down here because I don't need that part of the floor. That's not part of my news desk, gone. Now what we need to do is zoom in and use our lasso tool to select out the parts that we don't want. So it's really going to help if we zoom in. So notice I'm zooming in over here and I'm going to navigate to where I want to go. All right, now I'm zoomed in pretty far, which is great. I'm gonna go over to my lasso tool, go up to my Bezier tool. And again, the Bezier tool is great because it is essentially a straight line until you click. When you click, then it starts to do your curve. Every time you click is where that 
curve is going to bend. So I'm just going to do chunks at a time here. Right up there. Right over. I'm going to join where I started. Hit delete. Now if I zoom out, that's a really clean cut. And I'm going to zoom in and navigate around to all of these edges on the uh, news desk using that sweet Bezier tool. And if you do mess up, like let's say your hand, oh, it goes in, just come up here, make a selection. Obviously, I don't want to delete that, but I'm going to go up to select and deselect, and that will let you start over again in your selection. And guys, you will mess up as you work on this. Nobody is perfect. The best editors in the universe have these same problems that we have. It's just going to take a little bit of practice to get used to doing these tools and a little bit of patience also. So I'm going to go ahead, keep editing out these chunks. Again, using that Bezier tool, it is fantastic. If I was doing freehand, this would look terrible because I have shaky hands. So I want to show you the importance of cutting when you're zoomed in versus zoomed out. If you do it when you're zoomed out like this, it's not going to be as crisp and clear. So you don't have as much precision on what you're cutting out if you're zoomed out and your mistakes are more visible. So notice now that looks really choppy. But if I do it when I'm zoomed in, I have a lot more precision of what I'm selecting. So that's what I had selected when I was zoomed out. Look at all the parts I was chopping off. I can deselect that with Control D, and I'm going to try it again using that Bezier tool. It's basically just taking what you want to cut out along those edges in chunks and in segments, but you have more control over what you're removing when you are zoomed in like that. Now again, Pixlr X does not have this advanced editing cutout tool. Pixlr E, you can do this. You have the control. I tried it too in Pixlr X and my news desks were showing up just as choppy with sloppy stray pixels just like yours were. I might have went too far into that, so Control D will deselect, and now I'm going to try again. Again, I'm using the navigate to slide around my image when I'm zoomed in. So for over here, what I'm going to do is use a different tool. I'm going to use the marquee. Unfortunately, it deleted too much. You just got to make sure that you're clicked on that image with that selection in place. You can pick up your selection and move it by holding down and dragging. That will allow you to get these stray pixels that are off in the distance. Don't want to go too far in because if you do that, now you're deleting too much of your desk. I could do the same thing down here for the very bottom, removing those stray pixels. But again, you got to make sure that you're on that image. That way you're deleting the parts that you want. When you're zoomed out, that really helps to get over on this edge. Looks pretty good, but zooming in, and panning over here, might want to do something about this. So back to my lasso, back to my Bezier tool, and just hold down or click at each point that I want to curve. Now it's easy to miss this part over here. So when I'm zoomed out, what I can do is go back over to my marquee, come off of my canvas a little bit. It will let me select off my canvas and I can come in just enough to grab that edge that has some pixels I want to delete. 
Same thing goes for the bottom as well. But I can use my move or my arrange tool, I believe. If I unlock this and I can move this up and that will allow me to go get this stray pixel and delete it. But I have to have that layer selected to successfully delete. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a quick comparison of my work in Pixlr X versus Pixlr E. So here's Pixlr X. This is sadly the best that I could do. I used every cutout tool possible. I zoomed in and no matter what I did, I either had stray pixels or really sloppy edges. So again, Pixlr X is not the best for a clean, uh, precise cutout. Over in Pixlr E, here's my end result. So looks really good once I added in the Junior Falcon News logo from Share Drive. Put that in there, cover up that old logo. It's really easy to add new pictures if you just add a new layer with the plus sign and add image. You can also play around with shapes, do whatever. So here's the thing guys, for this week, for your assignment, all you're doing is fixing what you did last week and resubmitting it. So last week, if you had uh, pretty rough edges and everything, go ahead and open up that image, maybe redo it in Pixlr E. Use all these new tools that I showed you, clean it up, add it here, and you will get a new grade. So that's your new assignment. If you need any help throughout the week at all, go ahead and email me or contact me, and I'll get back to you right away.